I think I always have um, ideas, but one of the things that um, I think brings that to performance is that the idea is around for a while and starts to accumulate things to it. Mm. Um, and so it starts to kind of either become a more complex idea or, or simplify and become clearer. And often it's, it's when two ideas come together. I still always like that meeting thing. It seems to be kind of essential to my practice. I mean, one, one reason my company is called The Relationship is uh, obviously that I'm interested in a relationship in pieces like You the City or Lille, but also that, that, the, that, that the encounter between anything, like I said, mm -hmm. two instructions in the Theatre of State stuff, or um, in You the City really, but what made that piece start was the idea of the site specific and the and the notion of um, being addressed. Yeah. So the word you. And once those two came together, that it was like yes, you know, there's a there's a huge amount of stuff that that kind of gives birth to. Mm -hmm. I'm also very interested in the intimacy of the actual encounters because, really, my work was a. A, a series of quite intimate um, mm. things, even though it was a big piece. Yeah. And that's how I made it, actually. I made it, you know, encounter by encounter. Mm. Intimacy is quite fascinating, isn't it? Like <laughs> and your other works, like the, the piece yeah. you did with your um, all your furniture in the gallery. <laughs> in Tokyo. Yeah, the last time I, I was in Tokyo, I made a piece called My Address, a actual address I was living in. Mm -hmm. um, and <clears throat> so yeah, I because I was supposed to move out from my flat, um, so and then I, I, I was supposed to make a work in a gallery near there, so I just said, okay, so I just move out to the gallery. I, I was so struggling with the sort of experience of the earthquake. Mm -hmm. So after that, I mean, it happened uh, March 11th, mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. And I... <laughs> um, yeah, I was supposed to make the work in... Uh, July, I think. But I couldn't really, I couldn't think anything after the earthquake. A lot of things are coming into my head simultaneously. Mm -hmm. So my tenancy agreement was about expired, and I, I got divorced, and then I don't, I, I want to wash it. Up, I will wash away everything, mm -hmm. and also I was gonna come here in the, to London, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I was really I, I wanted to make some subtle but calm but um, quiet but still dynamic sort of movement. Mm -hmm. You know what, the last part of the, the piece, the guy of the disposal company came to the gallery mm -hmm. and then he just threw, oh, wow. <laughs> dumped everything into the, the truck mm -hmm. and then he drove away. Wow. Were people watching? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it took just two hours or something. Mm -hmm. It was really quick, yeah. And then me and my suitcase were well, left in the gallery, <laughs> empty gallery. For a long time I was trying to decide if I lived on this side of the Atlantic or on that side, and, and in the end I finally decided that I lived on both.
Mm. I mean, I lived there for long enough that it's actually my my working community is is quite strong there. Mm. Even although I moved back here, that kind of keeps going. So, and I find it a lot more difficult to raise money to work here for a couple of reasons. One is there's no money in New York, so people know that. I've heard of it. And and in performance, people will make a project before they ask for the money. Mm-hmm. So they'll make the project and then say, okay, now let's sell the project. Okay. Um, whereas here, you really need to line up the money before people will take the jacket off. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> which, which is good, and I think people should be paid. I'm not saying they shouldn't be paid, but it's just it's a different economy. Collaborative work is something that hasn't really happened here. Um, and one, one difficulty has been that I have this massive piece that I've been working on for a long time, the Medeiad, which is a cycle of six pieces. Oh. And um, until that's out of the way, I'm kind of tied to all those people because they've been working on it for years and years. Mm. Um, and just to start, if, if I started to do that piece here, it would be repeating a, a huge amount of work was already done. But that's going to be on in New York in, in uh, December. Mm-hmm. And so once it's happened, I feel like, yes, I can take that piece other places, but I'm also kind of freed to make different kinds of work and with different people. I mean, we're talking about kind of an international, sort of Londonish, sort of New Yorkish situation <laughs> yeah. here. And so, how's it different in Japan? And for example, you said that live art isn't a no. term. Mm. Um, one thing I, I mean, I don't want to generalize, but um, I have to say, um, each category is really, really. Uh, separated mm-hmm. and of course it's now it's changing and it's more like getting closer mm-hmm. but performance art I, if I hear performance art I imagine people are naked <laughs> piercing or I don't know putting some paint on the body or something like that that's, I think it's a really common vision of the mm-hmm. performance art in Japanese. So, yeah, but I want to do something in between, mm-hmm. between particularly performance art and visual art and theatre. <coughs> so, um, I don't, I don't know anyone who are interested in that, the middle, in the middle. Mm-hmm. We have to categorize ourselves into one, uh, you know, set up or sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Otherwise we can't get funded. Uh, for me it's much more easy, I mean, much easier to work here mm-hmm. rather than Japan. I can find the artist-led organizations mm-hmm. or events. Mm-hmm. So even if I'm, I'm not really, you know, in the theater world or in, in particular category, I can find friends and then you know we are having events together, and then I can just jump in. Mm-hmm. But in Japan. I can't find that sort of events or organizations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So here, it's, I think comparing with the Japanese situation, here it's more active. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, what you describe in Japan sounds like more like what it was when I first started here. Mm. Because um, the theatre of mistakes, we had the word theatre in the name, but actually we mostly performed in galleries. Okay. And it really came out of a, yeah, more and more from, we called ourselves a performance group. And 
we, um, we were always applying to the Arts Council, but they never knew which category mm. to put us. And uh, theatre said we weren't theatre, and dance said we weren't dance, and there wasn't, and visual arts said we weren't visual art, and mm. so on. We, we got, in all our five plus years of work, um, 50 pounds from the Arts Council. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Total. <laughs> Have you ever done any like uh, artist in residency program? Yeah, actually, that has been a main uh, sustainer of my practice. Mm. Um, both, both um, going to a place just to make work um, or, and to come up with something. Um, uh, ideas or just just to go away and you know empty my brain out and then maybe even have an idea like six months later but <laughs> which, which you know uh, has been some of my best ideas I didn't really know when they were growing but mm. I realized they were growing when I was at the residency and um, uh, or residencies where you have an opportunity to make a piece of work mm. Either one has just been, um, yeah, the best thing, almost better than money. <laughs> because if you have money, you need a context. It's so yeah, being given true. a context is, is, context and time really is, is what you need. Of course, money is nice as well. <laughs> um, yeah. One of the things about performance for me is there's something about it which is a light footprint. Mm. It's a light footprint on the earth and on reality, whatever. And, and that's kind of important to me. Mm. So not, ha not having stuff and not having worked with stuff um, has been an important part of my thinking. Mm. And my relationship to materiality is um, that mat materiality is the conditions under which you work. But it's not necessarily um, the thing that um, that where my craft lies. It's not necessarily the great place where my craft lies. <laughs> Thank you.